Today we're cleaning up Ian from Yellow Ribbon Trucking and we're gonna do a touchless wash on the whole truck and then a nice M shine bath on the trailer to get his aluminum tuned up, get all the winter off of there. Let's get into this. Our stars and stripes touchless. I got my pre mix here. We'll foam this thing down, make quick work out of this. This is the stripes. So I'm going to do small sections so nothing gets a chance to dry. There we go.
dried off, man. I'm really happy with how this thing came out, man. Look at that. I mean, Durabrites are super easy to clean, but considering we didn't even dry this off, dude, yeah, think about that. I mean, we do have some water spots, if you look real close from, just from our water here, because we didn't dry it off, but I was just kind of curious to see just air drying, but it's super acceptable. And even the bugs, like where I thought maybe the guts were still left on there, they're totally gone. That's nice, man. Yeah, this is looking good. Paint's good, all the bugs are off the front of this. Man. Look at that. And you, you, you did say it was two weeks since, since this was washed. Yes. But this, this was January, February. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so that'll be, that'll be good for, we'll take that one a little bit further, but your aluminum looks good. Tank, tank looks really nice. Super good. Now the plastic looks good. The rubber's nice and black. Man. Not bad. Two weeks. So this, this is uh, since January. So what, what is that? Two, three months now? Well, yeah, three months. So we still have some grime here where our touchless stuff didn't get everything off. But that's where the M-Shine formula comes into play. Because we'll get, we'll get all this stuff off of here and make it mint. So I think overall, I'm pretty happy with how everything came out. I mean, this is probably what I would have expected to get without physical contact. Yeah. I think on the back here, we'll do a 50-50. Maybe we'll wash just this left half here and then just see how that looks and what difference we made. Uh, obviously the back gets hit the hardest, but uh, yeah, we'll soak this whole thing down get all the way underneath, get the frame rails real nice. And then on this side, we didn't use anything else but the touchless stuff on these wheels. And they came out pretty good. This one is the roughest one. There's a little more shine on the next one forward. But when we hit it with M-Shine, this will come out much better. These are blue sticker Alcoas, so this is the raw aluminum. So we'll be able to get some of that oxidation out of there. Let's get on this, man. We're going to get the M-Shine on this thing. So this is going to get the oxidation from all the salt all winter long. This trailer hauls salt in addition to driving within the salt. So it's a mess. And the touchless stuff didn't take it where we want. At least not for this time of the year. Now it's getting nice out. We want it to have some bling. This is my new bucket filler. <laughs> in case you're wondering, you mix it with water, not fuel. Best part? is when the bucket fills up, it goes like that. Dude, it's like magic. Now you take this stuff, the stronger you use it, the more it'll get done. So that's kind of up to you. And I'm not really gonna measure it out or go crazy with it. I just wanna mix it strong. There's no science with this. It's just the stronger it goes on, the better. But you also wanna stretch it far enough so that if it's getting the job done you want, you know, you're not wasting it. We're gonna go heavy with it because we have plenty. Let's go nuts with it. People are going to be upset, but it'll be fine. Now you could put a few ounces of it in there and you get some work done, but I want to hit this thing hard and make it look mint. The main things you want to make sure of with this product is that it doesn't get a chance to dry. So you wouldn't want to do it in direct sunlight. Another reason you wouldn't want to do it in direct sunlight is because if the aluminum is hot, it has a way of releasing, I think it releases the hydrogen from the aluminum if the aluminum is hot. And it comes out in the form of massive streaks immediately, like without even getting a chance to dry or even be on there for more than 10 seconds. It's just, you don't want to put on hot aluminum. Okay. That's kind of like the, the thing with all polished aluminum cleaners, actually. Uh -huh. If the aluminum is hot, like in the middle of the day, yeah. in the sun, don't, man, don't do it, man. Now we'll just rinse it off and see what it looks like dry. So like M-Shine is not as much for this kind of an aluminum situation as much as a polished situation. 
it will do something. Like you can see where we put it on there and it's, it started cleaning this area here. It probably would have benefited from a little bit more time. It's certainly better than nothing compared to where we didn't treat the aluminum, but it's not gonna do as much to this kind of surface as an aluminum brightener would. Where this stuff really excels is up here. And so like you can see, especially with the reflection in the black, the black background over here, like where we applied M-Shine versus where we didn't, it didn't take off the, the polished surface because it's non-etching. And so that's where its value lies. So now we can basically just wash down this whole trailer and it's gonna be mint when we're done. It's gonna look great. It's gonna look totally acceptable going down the road. It won't be ready for Louisville, but it'll be most of the way there. So like, and if you're gonna polish it, it's gonna get a huge head start for you. So it's kind of crazy what it looks like, right? Seriously, look at that. So now let's take this all the way, get the whole trailer done, and then we'll pull this thing out so it looks like outside. You're, uh, did you just say you're his fleet manager? Yeah. Ooh, you're the guy I would want to sell to if I was like that. Yeah. Be like, hey, is, is Ian in? I got soap. like a smooth side aluminum trailer you know that first wash after the winter yeah. especially on this side Put it on again real strong, wipe it around one more time, and then you'll get a little more of that. Yep, 100%. We did a lot of heavy lifting on the first pass, but uh, there's no reason you can't you know, go over it again. 
Just remember, don't put it on when it's hot. Yeah. <laughs>